Welcome to the Action Group, Natalie. My name is David Ristow. I'm the CEO, President, and Founder of the Action Group. Please check us out at www.theoxengroup.com for all your financial analysis and investment ideas needs. On tonight's Action Group, Natalie, we'll be talking about our Thursday market wrap-up for May 26, as well as be looking at some of our new positions in VMware, as well as Kirk's Pharma. We'll also be looking at some of our other current positions and exits, updating you on our um, Georgia's corner portfolio as well as our extended value portfolio and also be looking at our forecast for tomorrow please check out our disclaimer at the end of the video um, so we had another update in the market it wasn't as strong as yesterday but the market was um, it was nice to see it finish up for the second straight day especially given that we didn't have very strong economic data news on the day um, both GDP and jobless claims missed expectations this morning um, GDP P came in at unrevised 1.8% growth, um, but estimates were that for that they were going to come in at 2% for quarter two, um, and that unrevision was a little bit unexpected, as well as jobless claims rose from 414,000 to 424,000 um, for last week, and that missed estimates that they were supposed to drop to 400,000. Um, but both of those indicators um, ended up not affecting the market as it moved up pretty strongly throughout the afternoon. Um, and it seems like the market does want to move higher. Really wasn't a big catalyst for the market except um, a little bit of a weakening dollar, and I think that overall we're seeing the market wanting to start to maybe move back up to the upside. Had a nice dip. There's a lot of good bargains out there right now, a lot of stocks that have hit some undervaluation, and um, it looks like it's a little bit of going to be some bargain hunting for the, last, the next couple of days here. And then we'll have, need some type of economic data to help um, continue this sort of rally. So, but the big shocker on the market today was that GDP was dropping again. Um, it's a second straight drop from quarter one to quarter two, um, which was also a drop from quarter four to quarter one. And this, uh, the sort of the buzz on the street was that perhaps um, the the economy, or excuse me, the Fed may be looking at. Um, extending some kind of QE2, maybe acting to QE3 because really we're not seeing the kind of growth in the economy that they want. They've already basically come out and said that interest rates won't rise from probably the rest of the year, um, and uh, but still not seeing the kind of growth that we want to see. Um, you know, some, some other economists speculate, you know, okay, so quarter two was a little bit weaker, but you have to think we had the Japanese crisis occur, higher commodity prices, higher oil prices, um, and that Japanese crisis really did affect some supply chains for a lot of American companies. Um, but overall, the market was able to rally. You know, started off weak after that issue with the GDP and the jobless claims. But the late push um, around lunchtime into the afternoon was really strong and did allow for us to have a pretty nice day on the market at the close. And uh, sets us up for a two days in a row um, up, which usually when you have two days of something occur it, um, it starts a trend and that would probably signal that we probably continue to see an update tomorrow um, and continue into next week um, probably will be a light day tomorrow on volume um, a lot of people traveling um, and I think that that could be actually good for the market because um, a little bit lighter volume tends to give bigger swings in the market on days when there's less people trading um, so we were able to position ourselves effectively into a couple of positions as we're getting a little more bullish right now. We've been kind of adding positions, haven't been shorting anything anymore. I'm able to do well with a couple of buy picks yesterday and the day before. Um, but today we added VMware, and I think the stock is ready for a breakout. Um, you know, it hasn't been able to break this 98 line since um, in its history, but today it showed some pretty strong strength. Um, it's had good volume coming into the last couple of days. Um, and this is a this is a breakout that's going to happen. See, the last time it came to this rally point, it had jumped so significantly um, in a post earnings and it couldn't quite break out. But this rally that it's having right now is really not based on any kind of extreme fundamentals in the sense of that there hasn't been any new developing story. You know, um, I think they had a, a recent ac a small acquisition a couple like last week but other than that there really hasn't been too much news out there for VMware and the fact that the stock is rallying and showing such great support um, even in, in a pretty you know a pretty diluted market without a lot of um, confidence moving forward is a very it's a telling sign to us and usually you see those stocks that can show strength even in tough times 
those are the types of stocks that you want to be trading. Those are the kind of stocks that you want to be trading when you think that you might be on the um, ready for a, a nice trend back to the upside. Those are the kind of stocks that can break out. Um, so we definitely wanted to get into VMware, um, thinking that this stock can break out. Um, if we do have a pullback tomorrow, um, this stock might suffer from that, but we're pretty bullish that this stock is going to be able to break above 98 and move higher um, tomorrow. Um, we also did well with the Carex position day. We picked uh, this up at 512 yesterday, sold it at 522 today for a, a nice 2% gain. And you can see that it's in the middle of this kind of um, narrowing price channel. Um, and it's really getting ready for a breakout. Um, we want to we got the 2% and we're looking to get another maybe 1 or 2% on the top of this 522. Um, we're not looking to get, get this stock on its breakout, but this stock does look like it's poised to maybe go to 6 um, by the end of the year. Um, and um, But we would like to see it to go to 530 here in the next day or two. Um, and that would be a great push for it. This is a stock that's got a lot of upgrades lately, has been showing some pretty good price action. Um, the volume has been a little bit weak as this stock has moved up, but I think we'll see it bounce up to this price channel, It'll probably show some resistance there. Um, that would be around the 530 level. Um, we took two exits um, on one of our other positions, Fossil today. Fossil finally, um, we've been holding it for since the beginning of the week and I was kind of uh, I was kind of growing a little bit weary as the stock I thought had showed signs that it was ready for that kind of Strong breakout has shown strong support after post earnings. The markets kind of pull back and some of the struggles and some of the retail with some earnings that came out earlier this week sort of held it back and we wanted to take a little bit off at break even. I was worried that today would probably be a down day. I thought given the, the economic news and the fact that the market had not shown any kind of strength for multiple days in a row. Um, so we were able to exit. We took couple exits at break even and 1%, but we're now looking for this stock to really continue higher. Um, it closed above 105 and we have our price target at 107 on this for the final partial partial part of it, which will be about a 4.5% gain for us. Um, and I think it could go to 110 um, it, by in the next week or two. Um, the only other thing we happened was we were stopped out of our SLV position at 36. We got a nice gain on that yesterday um, for 1.5%, but um, the pullback in silver today hurt us um, in that ETF, but we were able to still pull away with a slight gain um, because we were able to lock in those gains yesterday. Um, other than that, um, Georgia's corner portfolio, um, he bought uh, Unilever yesterday at 31.70. Um, that stock performed pretty well today. Um, it's definitely going to need, I think, the market to help keep pushing it up. Um, and it's really close to that breakout line. Um, if it can get above 32, it could definitely really start to pick up its pace. Um, and he's uh, looking at a couple of positions right now. He really likes Vera Bradley, as do I, for a push um, into earnings. Take to Interactive. It's showed a lot of strength the last couple of days post earnings. Um, it wants to break out. It hasn't been able to move above that 1720 to 1730 level. We're looking for the stock to hit that 1720, 1730 level and continue higher, and we'll be a buyer as it breaks out. Um, and then TDC is another position that he likes. Um, in the extended value portfolio, um, we, no ma major changes. Uh, haven't really done anything in that portfolio as of recent. Kind of holding, waiting for something, waiting for this market to kind of make its way back up um, before we're going to be selling anything. Um, and we haven't really added as we move down here just because uh, I don't see a lot of great opportunities um, to add to anything that we have right now or to add anything new given our equity analytics um, reports that we've put out recently. I did like that I saw the action in China Dang Dang. It moved into the buy, our buy range today. Um, and we definitely have that on our radar. This is a great spec play. Um, it's kind of the Amazon of China, and we think that this the ticker is D-A-N-G, Dang. And we think that this stock could be a potential um, high flyer in the next, uh, probably in 2012, um, as we think that the consumer um, in China is going to really start to spend a lot of money um, here this year and in the next year. And this could be one of the places that could really see some heavy growth in the next year or two. For tomorrow, uh, the two days in a row does signal start of a trend, um, but that trend is could be easily bashed tomorrow if personal income and spending aren't good, as well as the Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index. If those are positive, I think we could see a really, really drastically big day tomorrow with the low volume, uh, with some kind of pent-up buying, some you know uh, 
people starting to maybe get a little bit of feeling of maybe we're going to get a little bullish trend here for a little while, a little less uncertainty in the market. Could all spell a very nice day in the market tomorrow. Going to need both personal income and spending to be good and the consumer sentiment to really get a very big update. Um, earnings tonight are very very soft with Marvel and Omnivision, nothing big tomorrow morning as well. So it really is going to come down to that economic data coming out tomorrow. That's going to wrap us up for today. Visit us at www.theoxygroup.com. Email us, call us, um, contact us any way you can think of. Please become a part of our 70% plus accuracy.